The Tattersall's December fall sale concluded at Park Paddocks on Saturday with increases across the board and a 750,000 guineas Dubawi filly topping the sale on the third day. The top price achieved at this fourth and final session last year was matched on the day when a daughter of Ifraj out of listed winning mare Arabian Mirage was knocked down to Norris Huntingdon Bloodstock for 110,000 guineas. Bought as a pinhook prospect, the January-born filly was sold by Overbury Stud. Liam Norris, we've, we've sold horses to him before and it's all, been, it's all worked out well. He's a wonderful judge, he gives them a beautiful home or a fabulous home, he looks after them very well. And she'll come back here next year all being well and, and do well for him too and, and uh, be an exciting racing prospect. She's a well-bodied filly who walks extremely well, she's correct and that's what people want. It's a very, very unforgiving market but if you do hit it right you can get lucky. I love to sell on a Saturday because there's a, there's a horse for everybody and there are a lot of people who haven't managed to buy quite as much as they want so there are here tidying up and, and you can get horses sold very, very well today. The six-figure mark was met again later in the afternoon when a colt by first crop sire Knight of Thunder sold to Yemenstown stud for 100,000 guineas. The offering is out of a daughter of the Group 1 placed Hotel Genie.com, who is also the dam of Group 1 winner Simply Perfect, from the further family of champion older horse Postponed and champion two-year-old Bianca Nera. He was sold by Chris Budget's Kirtlington stud. He really took the sale well here and you know, thrived on it actually and uh, as the two days went on they got more and more exciting because of the people who were, who were actually viewing and coming back for a second and third look. I have a partner in the horse and uh, I had to slightly sort of keep a cap on what my expectations were becoming but we're thrilled, absolutely thrilled, you know, it's a hell of a result. Bought the mare in France uh, carrying to Air uh, Chief Marshal horse called Zach Mayo, a three-year-old now. And now the lovely thing about this is it justifies the purchase of the mare to my partner, which has always been one of those fears in my life. But yeah, I would have been happy with 50, to be perfectly honest. So to get double that, you know, all I can do is smile. Usk Valley Stud also recorded a notable sale on the final day when a colt by See the Stars from one of the Stud's foundation families of Nancy Glow and Scarlet Dragon sold to Richard Brown of Blanford Bloodstock for 95,000 guineas. There were three lots in the catalogue by Kingman, whose oldest crop are now yearlings, and it was a colt out of Upper Street by the Judmont sire who attracted buyers' attention during the final session, selling for 80,000 guineas to Blanford Bloodstock. The dam is the daughter of champion Bally McColl mare Islington and the offering was sold by Charlie Wyatt's Duke Stud. We bought the mare a couple of years ago for 190 grand and wanted to really get into that lovely family. And we've got a lovely Oasis Dream yearling which is going to training with David Simcock. So onwards and upwards and the mare's back in fall to Kingman. So no, it was a lovely fall. There's always something happening and obviously you saw the Bally McCall draft go through yesterday and it's, it's, it's just an amazing family to be involved with. So, you know, we want to keep it going. Tattersall's marketing director Jimmy George reflected on yet another busy week of trade. It's been another good week. Uh, Tattersall's December foal sale, uh, so much depends um, in this sale on how the yearling trade has gone in the, in the months preceding and the Tattersall's October yearling sale was pretty spectacular by, by any standards. So uh, that's very much driven the foal market this week. Oh, some fantastic foals all week. The cream of the British and Irish foal crop has uh, come here to Tattersall's uh, as ever. And uh, the pinhookers have been very busy competing with an awful lot of, you know, of the world's leading owners as well. The end users have identified the Tattersall's December foal sale as a, as a place to find some very, very serious racehorses. Melbourne Cup winner Rekindling bought here as a foal only a few years ago. Barney Roy was another fantastic uh, performer of 2017 to have been bought here as a foal. That encourages the big owners also to, to get stuck into the, to the December foal market as well. And uh, that creates a great mix. Pinhookers competing with the end users uh, is, is arguably uh, a, a key part of the strength of the sale. I think there have been some fantastic stories to come out of the December foal sale this year. It's great to see William Delane Carson topping the sale with a Fantastic Dubai, we feel that mare's been a superstar for them. She's the dam of Jack Hobbs, obviously, as everybody knows. She deserved it, they deserved it. It's great to see them uh, uh, reaping such rich rewar rewards. And the Veach family, again, I mean, it were, you couldn't fail to be almost moved by the success that they had. 600,000 guineas for, 
for a dark angel foal for them. You could, you could tell how much it meant to them. And that's, that's a fantastic, you know, to have stories like that to, combined with trade that has been rewarding pretty well from start to finish across the board is, is a great way to come to the end of the December foal sale. And uh, overall, we've seen a record average at the sale. We've had record median turnover breaking 30 million guineas again. That's the fifth consecutive year the December foal sale has turned over more than 30 million guineas. And uh, yeah, it's a tribute to everybody who works incredibly hard and brings some very, very high quality foals to Tattersalls every year. In, in addition to that, the, uh, the the global demand for the Ballymacol foals has, uh, you know, it's been a feature of the autumn sales season here at Tattersalls, starting in book one of the October yearling sale. The Ballymacol dispersal is truly a once in a generation event, and uh, the foals sold extremely well. And we're looking forward to the final instalment of this wonderful dispersal. Uh, in the December breeding stock sale, which starts on Monday. And I think the, the, the huge interest generated by this dispersal from the moment it was announced early, in, relatively early in the year is in itself a tribute to the uh, spectacular achievements from Ballymacall Stud over the last four or five decades. It's, uh, it's something we're all looking forward to.